game aside, but you're, you kind of wake up in the morning and you got a certain set of teammates, and then three hours later everything changes. What, what's that? What's that like to go through? I mean, it's, it's just OG, Mel, Precious. Uh, I mean, they're our brothers, you know. Um, OG been here for seven, eight years, six years, um, a long time. Um, I mean, the NBA is just uh, it's a business, you know, at the end of the day. Um, for me, uh, it's always tough uh, because I'm from Europe, and in Europe, basketball, you know, it's like a family thing. And people call it here family, but, you know, then you wake up in the morning and you had a different team. But at the end of the day, it's, you know, that's the system. Um, I'm grateful to be in the NBA, but, you know, that's the downside of it, you know. Um, not being with your brother no more. And uh, I hope, you know, OG, Mel, and Precious, they're doing, you know, great things in their new role. And, um, yeah, we got to move on. And, of course, I mean, uh, all the players who we got, uh, we welcome them for sure. Um, but at the, at the end of the day, it's, 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 uh, it's tough. Do you think it had any impact uh, in terms of the team performance tonight, uh, going through all that? Obviously, the bench was <laughs> shorthanded, but uh, did, did you felt like it crept into your game at all? I mean, uh, everybody was a little bit down, but we don't we don't use excuses. At the end of the day, you know, um, Detroit. I mean, they made it. You know, Boston really hard too uh, last game, and they came out. You know, they wanted to win, and um, but I think uh, it's, it's a shout out to the whole locker room from us too, because I think that's the hardest we played all year, um, and if we if we play that way, you know, we're going still uh, can turn it around. Dennis, given your experience within the league, you've seen trades happen, but when you're thinking of a guy like Scotty Barnes, this is probably a big one, just given how close he was with OG and Precious. Mm -hmm. um, what advice would you give a, a Scotty who is kind of going through the big one for the first time? Yeah, I mean, uh, this is his team, you know, at the end of the day. Uh, he's still young. He still needs to learn a lot of stuff. Um, but at the end of the day, um, I mean, he just got to, you know, go through um, stuff like that. But at the end of the day, just, you know, keep it in your mind that the NBA is a business. And at the end of the day, you know, the owners, organizations, they just want to, you know, make sure on their side that they, you know, good. And, um, uh, and I mean, you just got to move on. You know, of course, uh, like I said, Precious and OG, they was uh, his brothers and Mel. But at the end of the day, you know, he's just in a different city, you know. Still same contract, still same money, you know, and uh, I mean, we're in the best league in the world and we just got to embrace it, everybody, and um, just move on. You mentioned this being one of the hardest you've played all year. Um, obviously, that's been something that everybody's been trying to figure out how to, how to put together 48 minutes, et cetera, et cetera, and we know it's a long season and games are long. Why do you think it's been so difficult for this group to put longer stretches together? I mean, uh, the the culture is just a different culture. You know, when I got here, um, I mean, Darko did a great job just um, putting his, you know, um, system um, to the organization. Um, but I think we just got to um, follow that, you know, everybody just being unselfish, um, sharing the ball. Because at the end of the day, not you know one or two persons you know can win. A, I mean, sometimes they can. <laughs> but uh, to be you know a winning team, um, we need everybody. Um, even the the guys who don't really really play, um, people got to be grateful, cheering on their teammates when they get a stop or when they get on the floor, dive, pick them up, um, being excited for another. And um, I mean, I don't want to you know go deep into that, but I I, I need to. You know, feel that because I mean, in the summer I didn't. We we didn't had you know. I went to war with all my brothers. I mean, from the national team, but we knew we had each other. And I mean, I don't feel it here yet like that. And I just want to you know, every single day I just want to keep going at it, build relationships. You know, I know it's hard um, because NBA is a little bit individual as well. Um, but at the end of the day, if you keep playing like this, nobody's gonna win. You won't. Can you walk me through um, just like the game tonight itself? Like, you know, what you saw from Detroit, they obviously came out swinging. They didn't want the, get, to get the new NBA record. What, what was it like to play against them tonight? Oh, they play well. I mean, 
everybody just you know playing with confidence. They still got you know um, guys who's hungry who wanna who wanna win. I mean, 28 games. You know, to be in a losing streak like that, of course you wanna you know come out and win a game. And um, they played hard. Um, it was a dog fight, you know. And um, uh, congrats to them. Dennis, just to follow up on your point of kind of summer and coming into now, um, do you think that that takes time to build or conversations? Like, how do you cultivate that level of chemistry that you had in the summer with your guys? I mean, it's just, you know, enjoying every single... Yeah, first off, it took a long time. Mm -hmm. um, I mean, I've been playing 10 years, 9 years with the national team. The last two years, we got, you know, a uh, bronze medal and uh, uh, the gold medal this summer. Um, but to, be, to enjoy the moment and to be grateful that you're in the NBA, I mean, people saying that, but I mean, it's just because when you're in the NBA bubble, it's hard to, you know, sometimes you get away and you think it's normal that somebody's bringing your shoes or, you know, like, it's, it's, it's funny, but at the end of the day, that's like a blessing to have. You know, I mean, we come to practice, we don't have uh, nothing. I mean, my street clothes, I come in and I got my loop, you know, and uh, somebody's going to wash it afterwards. That's, that's, that's not normal, you know. At the end of the day, everybody just got to be grateful for that and um, enjoy uh, each and every one. Come together, enjoy togetherness, and I think that's, that's, uh, that's about it. But if you don't do it, then it's, it's, it's going to be hard to win. Do you think that element, not to harp on this, but do you think that element is lacking specifically with this team or compared to other NBA teams, or is that just no, the I, NBA as a whole? I just, I just, I mean, in my career, where we really, like, in Atlanta, like my second, third, fourth year with, like, great, you know, vets um, who didn't, you know, really care about having, you know, points or was just about winning. You know, at the end of the day, I think everybody here in this locker will want to win as well. Um, and I feel that still. But at the end of the day, I just want us to, you know, um, be more engaged, be more excited, you know. And um, I think if we do that and, you know, bring the new guys in and, you know, tell them the same thing, we're going to be good. Are you committed to the plan, Dennis, in terms of? you know, bringing that forward and kind of being a part of that change that you do want to see within the locker room? For sure. I mean, I want to be, you know, close with everybody who's in that locker room. Um, I'm trying. Uh, I want to be, you know, um, we ain't got to be best friends, but when we get on the court, I want, you know, I'm a fight for every single one of them, and I want the same from them too, you know, and um, if we get to that stage, um, it's going to be great. Obviously, playing shorthanded wasn't ideal going into tonight. Do you think that was a factor um, at any point, just not having enough bodies? I mean, uh, it, it was that, and uh, I'm really proud of, of the energy that our guys gave, having gave everything uh, in uh, taking everything in account. Uh, late camera right here, a very emotional day for everybody, but guys guys gave it all today, like all the guys that they, they, they played just like they, they fought. Uh, we missed uh, a couple of free throws, we missed a bunch of layups that we usually make, and that was the difference, actually shooting from the three-point line. We did a good job, but like we could not finish in the paint there, and uh, I also don't want to take away from, from, from what Detroit did. Uh, congrats to them, they played a really good game. Um, they made Made some very very timely shots. I think it was like four or five times buzzer buzzer beaters, really uh, tough shots and contested shots, and uh, um, they got a win. They, they deserve that win tonight. Obviously, Pascal is, is maybe one of the more affected guys, having played with OG for the longest, and and you know uh, with his history with the team. Uh, you mentioned being proud of the team. What did you think of his third quarter and what looked to be, you know, some defiance there? Yeah, um, I, I challenged both uh, him and, and Scotty at the halftime that we need more from, from them and that, that they need to do a better job in the second half. And they showed up. Both of those guys did a really good job. Uh, Pascal in the second half, uh, he, he was much more aggressive and he was coming closer to the rim and he was on the balance for, for, for uh, majority of those shots. I thought that he did a good job. 
you know, kind of why is it the fact that, you know, you took it took basically you calling them out and saying that you needed more from them at halftime for them to step up in the second half and instead of like seeing that right away from out the gate. Uh, I don't think that uh, that uh, the energy and effort was uh, was the problem uh, to start the game. Uh, I, I just wanted them to be more aggressive, like you know, just to 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 take it more to the rim, to to take it deeper. Like they were kind of like a little bit passive there. It was not a question of energy, but just like you know, taking on them to to uh, to be more aggressive and then to score more for us. <clears throat> Obviously, you guys are all professionals in this, but given kind of the day that you've had. The conversations that you have after a game like this, uh, how do you navigate um, in terms of kind of keeping the group together? As you know, it has been a pretty emotional day. Um, it is very emotional day, but uh, all I can do is uh, to show my support and to talk to, to to the guys and to understand their positions as well. And um, you know, whoever needs to talk or uh, whoever needs I uh, like to get stuff off their chest, I'm there for them and. Uh, through, through all of this, we got to stay together, and uh, you know I think uh, energy was good tonight. And I, I told guys it was not the outcome that we want, but I thought that was my, maybe one of the harder playing games for us this season. So I want to try to build on this and and, and get better through this. Obviously, it may, might take some time, a couple of days, but is there a sense now within the locker room that a day like today could be a defining point for the season, either way that it goes? Um, I, I don't get that feel. I, I think it's way too early to to get a pulse on you know how a team is going to react. We still did not, you know, see uh, new players in our team. That's going to be a process. Like we have, we understand that all of this of building a team, it's not overnight fix. You know, so we want to. Uh, um, you know, to welcome new guys, the, to get them accustomed to to our team, and to learn what they have and what we have with them, and and to grow. Our main main objective is is to grow and to get better and to learn what we have with our roster. How has this day been like for you personally? Like, what well, those conversations and emotional emotionally has been like for you? Um, it, emotional day, very emotional day. Uh, you know, everything happened very quickly, and you know, uh, while I was thinking about guys that are leaving us and you guys, uh, guys coming, I also had to uh, prepare for the game and and then stay focused on the game tonight. And uh, the guys that are here in the locker room to to give them um, everything they need to to go out there and be ready to compete for the game. I mean, having seen two pretty important players just get traded. Um, do you think elsewhere in the roster guys are kind of looking around and thinking, you know, what's next? Or does it maybe say, okay, well, maybe we need to pull this together if we want to keep this together? Do you think there's anything they can interpret from that? I, I'm not really sure, of, you know. So that those are conversations are probably coming in next days, and uh, we today did not have time to to really dive into that. So it's early and premature to to comment on that.